All right, good morning, everybody. I'm back out here again. It is Thursday morning. Last week, I took some extra days off. Um, I noticed last week that I had some pains in my knees when I was walking. Not a super pain, but just a pain telling me that my quads were over tight, that I had not been recovering properly. So I took a few extra days and I had to force myself to take a few extra days. Instead of coming out here and working out, I had to force myself to go in and do the foam roller instead of working out. Because I'm telling you, my quads were so sore. Just laying on that foam roller, uh, trying to roll my quads out was so painful, I was almost crying. Um, <laughs> it was really, really bad. It was almost as bad as one of my back was spasming and I had to really work on my, my hips and stuff with the foam roller. The quads were almost as bad as that. So I've been really pushing it really hard, doing my split squats, doing the front squats, doing everything. And I just over tightened those muscles so bad that I have not recovered properly from doing all those exercises. So that's where I've been. I've just been basically doing a recovery for my body, let my body get back into workout mode. And now I feel good enough to get back out here and get my workouts on. I've also not been taking care of myself properly after my workouts. I usually do some stretching. I usually do some roller work uh, for 15, 20 minutes afterwards. But since we've been doing remodeling in the house, I have been going from working out directly into the house to taking care of the wife and getting the remodeling going and working most of the day doing that before and not even taking care of myself. So I need to get back to doing that. So that's what I did was this week, I just took care of myself in the morning doing some stretching, some foam rollers, trying to loosen those muscle, uh, <clears throat> muscles up and uh, getting myself back into shape to come out here and get back to my workout on. So today is just gonna be a standard press day, nothing special. We're just getting ourselves back into it, getting the, getting the blood flowing. And then I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna do some more foam rollers on my legs and my upper back and see how it feels. My back's pretty good, my back feels good. I go get a massage once a month and she really tears me up on the back. The legs is the hard part. When she starts hitting those, it's really sore. So. I'm doing it myself so I can actually control the amount of pain, the amount of pressure on my legs. <clears throat> and it is painful, but I'm feeling better. So presses, let's get going. Let's see out. Oh, oh, oh. 
35, good start. Whew. All right, crossovers, light gray band with the grips. About a 30 second break. Just enough time to put the grips on the bands. Sorry, with a big stretch. Whew. That stretch, just getting it back as far as I could and just pushing out and really stretching the chest as much as I could. Whew. All right, overhead press, light gray band. Oh. Whew, 28. Whew. It's funny. <laughs> I feel strong. But just taking those couple extra days off, your endurance 
the drops just a tad. Still feel strong, still good to let your body rest. It won't take nothing but a couple, couple days to get my endurance back. I'll be back up there to hitting my highs again. It's good to take those breaks though. Twenty three total on that. Whew. All right, today's leg program dark gray band, and I'm going to go until exhaustion, but not over exhaustion. I want to do this, and I want to go in and I want to roll my legs, my quads some more. So I want to get some blood pumped in there. I want to feel some a little bit of exhaustion. And then I want to wrap all this up, go inside, get my foam roller out, and I want to lay down and get some excruciating pain in those golf ball knots in my uh, in my quad. So that's the program for today. All right, 20, that's good. I can feel starting to get tired, starting to get the exhaustion. I had probably six or seven more to go if I really wanted to push it, but I got some serious knots right up in here and upper part of the quad. So I want to fill that with blood and go in and lay on that foam roller and just try and loosen those knots up.
21. That's good. Above pumped. Uh, I can feel the fatigue starting to set in, so time to go in and do some foam rollers. All right, that concludes today's Thursday morning back at it after almost a week rest workout. I know this week I'm supposed to be in the middle of a big fast. I was getting ready to start it, but then I thought since I'm doing all the muscle recovery, the foam roller and everything, I probably need to keep my nourishment up during that time. So I've just been basically doing OMAD uh, during this week, just one meal a day uh, around dinner time. So I haven't done any serious fasting, just basically uh, intermittent fasting this week. And I'm hoping next week to sink deeper into my longer 72 to 96 hour fast. Um, so like I said, I was off for so many days because I was trying to recover from the golf ball knots that I had in my quads from just really hitting it, hitting it hard with the legs. My legs are just, they don't look like nothing for me. They're just basically still the same old skinny legs. Um, but I know they've gotten a lot stronger. Um, obviously I've seen what I've done over the past year, um, but I'm trying to obviously put on a little bit more size and bring out some definition. I got freaking bees flying around here. Um, so I've been really working hard on the legs, really pushing them heavy, and I haven't been recovering the way I should have been with the foam roller. Actually, I misplaced my big, big one. I don't know where it went. It was in the house somewhere, and I've checked the house, I've checked the RV, I've checked everywhere. I have no idea where I put it. Uh, I'm, eventually, I'm sure that I will find it, but I had to go out and buy me another one. And this one is just a slight bit harder than the foam one I had, the actual softer foam one. So it really puts a lot of pressure on my quads. So, and I have, and it's really funny is instead of laying face down on it and rolling back and forth, what I've had to do is I've had to get an ottoman in front of me, lay my chest on the ottoman and then put my quads on the roller behind me. So I can't put all my weight onto my legs because it is excruciatingly painful to actually have all that weight onto those knots in my legs. So I've been putting more of my weight of my upper body and then just letting my leg just sink in slowly into that roller. And then as the muscle relaxes, I can actually feel the tension. And as the muscle finally relaxes, I can just feel it just easing up and opening. And then I just roll to a different spot where I find another knot. And I just lay there and just like, just relax, try and breathe deep, almost go into a trance. And then I just finally let that muscle just relax. And it's been all up and down from my knees, all the way up to my hips, all the way from the front. <laughs> inside to the outside so my my legs have been really really torn up a lot of it on my right leg and there's been probably about you know the same about the same amount on the left leg but the left leg seems to be able to withstand the punishment a little bit more um and i am right-handed so i'm not sure what's up with that it seems that my right leg just has more tension in it than my left leg does probably because i stand on my my right leg more you know when you're always standing there you're leaning on your right leg your dominant leg so that's what i've been doing that's what i am doing i'm trying to recover and get myself back into this back into my program fasting will come back next week right now it's just omad and uh drinking plenty of water um, while i'm doing this i had to go out and buy a bunch more of those uh italian uh seltzer waters because i like drinking those in the evening instead of beers um while i'm watching tv or football or baseball or whatever so i've been drinking those pounding those down instead of beers so i'm getting let me get my hydration get my water in so that's been the program. Today was a simple workout. Um, I felt good. Obviously, I didn't go to my usual peak, but I have taken a week off, so my endurance has suffered just a little bit. I'm still, I still feel strong. I feel great now that my blood's rushing through my body. So I'm gonna go back in the house. I'm gonna do my foam roller. I'm gonna cry like a little baby, and I'll be back out here again for my pull days tomorrow morning. So I got it done. I'm gonna go live my life because I got more stuff to do in the house. So I'm gonna recover myself and then get ready to go working in the house. We'll be back here tomorrow. See ya.